I do see that. I also see so what, what you were trying to do. Yeah, my intentions are property. Here's the thing. It's still, a, you know, short sale opportunity is still open, you know. Mm-hmm. Trisha, you're, you're in a situation here where by you really just can't go to upper management and say, hey, you know what, I don't like this fraud happening anymore. I want to change You could tell them that, but they're still going to keep doing this. you got to get out of there. That's all there is to it. And it's going to cost you. You might have children. You know, it's going to cost you probably not having a job for a little while or whatever the case might be. You know what I'm saying? But you're, you are there on the front lines. You'd be a good informant for the federal government. Good in the format for the SEC, too. <laughs> As if they really care about being. They, they have so much stuff on their plate anyway. I mean, regardless, though, I mean, it's like, do you want to continue? I call it sin. Do you want to continue in this sin? Knowing what you know now? I mean, you know, I don't even know anything that's happening over there. You know, there's a lot of insider trading, which which is something whereby, you know, somebody at the company knows something about the bank, so they'll go ahead and either sell something short or they'll just, you know, buy high and sell low. I mean, buy, buy low and sell high because they know that it's going to go back down again. Mm-hmm. So, that's dangerous. How much longer can the company do this and have these kind of practices and, and you know, kind of get away with it, I guess? Mm. Definitely interesting information. <laughs> Definitely interesting. There can't be too many customers who even care to mention the problems over there like this, you know, right? Uh, we certainly get a lot of complaints. Neither here nor there. Yeah, it's definitely something that we need to... But nothing about direct fraud like Jason Warner is mentioning? Mm, no. No fraud. For, now, by the way, just to let you know what, fraud is criminal... Deception. It's like, uh... I know what fraud is. Okay, you know what fraud is? Cool. Mm-hmm. If people don't understand how, how broad fraud really is, I mean, it's... I, I never realized how broad fraud was until about a year ago either, until I started looking at, you know, the real problems in our country and this whole financial crisis. And it's not just about, you know, banks giving money to borrowers who couldn't afford it. Well, the issue is, why was the bank giving the money to the borrower in the first place? See, they do this... Trisha, you know, I've originated many loans. They can go ahead and originate a mortgage, the bank can, and then they're going to sell it to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Now, the bank's going to go ahead and retain servicing, so you're never going to know that it was actually sold to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are government-sponsored entities, and they just go ahead and give them the money back to the bank, and they collect, you know, the payments for the investor Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Here's a problem. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, they're not going to review the documents. So the bank can go ahead and lie all day long if they want to regarding the appraisal, regarding, well, title work, that's another good one, and the borrower's information, and just ignore, you know, blatant problems with that original loan package, you know, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's a serious problem. That's why we have so many foreclosures in this country right now. It just, it's not like, you know, there's deadbeats out there who just don't want to make their payments. I mean, all of a sudden now, you know, last year there were more than 5 million foreclosures. <laughs> I mean, you really think that all of a sudden 5 million people decided to stop missing, start missing their payments, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, there's nothing that I would be able to do at this point concerning all of this fraudulent behavior um, besides, you know, follow up on it and see what exactly is going on from my end. Um. Check this out, though. The government, they don't want to say anything about it. You know why? If they, may, if they, you know, tell the truth, oh, man, all this time we've completely ignored, we've completely ignored this problem, and now, boom, we're going to say something? Oh, man. We have all this problems caused by us not regulating properly, and, well, here we are. we got to fix it. And then, you know, go back and do it. Now, let's say they decide, okay, well, we are going to go ahead and do it. Well, guess what happens then? you get got to run in the banks. The FDIC's got to protect themselves. What if people ran their Bank of America, took their money out of the bank, 
great, now the FDIC is going to try to find a way to, you know, ensure there's, there's these deposits of customers at Bank of America. I think that's going to happen. It's a huge bank. Bank of America is too big to fail. You can't let Bank of America fail. It's too big. So that's what's really happening in this country. Hope I shed some light on that for you, you know? You certainly did, Mr. Warner. This is the most uh, interesting conversation I've had in five months that I've been employed here. <laughs> the most um, interesting conversation you've had in five months you've been employed there. I'm, hey, where'd you work before uh, Countrywide? Or I'll think of America. I was in marketing. Really? Cool. I got a, I got a major in marketing. Yeah, mine is in advertising. Cool. But when the economy started going bad, nobody wanted to spend money on marketing. It's Bank of America. <laughs> well, you know what? I I really don't like advertising too much. I like marketing. I like being able to market for free through, you know, pub public relations, PR work, and word of mouth. If people like your work, they're going to tell their friends. What's the best way to market? And it's, I learned in college that you know they're trying so hard to. You know, let's create this advertising, that advertising, let's go on, on this TV show, that radio show, or do this or that. I don't like that too much. Yeah, my um, specialization is in non-traditional advertising. Oh, really? And so, yeah, it's not a bunch of, um, it's not like commercials and things like that. Well, advertising is all paid, though, you know. I like to try to keep it as low as if any, any money at all, you know, not putting money into it, marketing at all. So where'd you, uh, where'd you go to college? I went to the University of Texas at Arlington. You tea, you long orange. Yep, so, that's me. Ah, uh, well, I do have to remind you that co-ed connectivity will continue until your loan is burnt current. Um, workout is not guaranteed. If you have any other questions, give us a call. You know, I appreciate you uh, telling me that you're the first person who said workout is not guaranteed. That's great, you know. It, I, I hope that you would, you know, uh, honorably quit working for this company, you know. If I find another job, I may. If you find another job, you would. Boy. I wish I could help you. definitely teaching me a lot of stuff, so. You what? I said it's definitely teaching me a lot of stuff. It's not in, in vain. It's definitely been a learning experience. Regardless, uh, yeah. absolutely, you're learning a lot. Look, I, I worked at, you know, I worked at U.S. Bank, for example. I learned a lot there. It's actually one of the most ethical companies in the country, even though it's filled with fraud as well. But <laughs> I learned a lot working there. I learned a lot. Anywhere you work, you just learn so much. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's not, you know, for what I'm doing. It's definitely taught me patience and... Uh, <laughs> Dealing with some irate people has definitely, you know, sharpened my people skills, and so that'll help me when I go back to marketing. So it's fine in the meantime. I wasn't irate, right, was I? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've had actual representatives of your bank try to say that I was irate right with them. I'm like, what? <laughs> Interesting, yes. And you heard a lot about fraud, too, you know? Mm -hmm. You know what? Go to my uh, YouTube.com page mm -hmm. and put in, uh, you know, my name. And you can learn more about fraud, too. The YouTube page about fraud. Yeah, oh, Bank yeah. Of, Bank of America fraud? A Bank of America fraud's all up there, yep. <laughs> recorded conversations. It's all good stuff. You have recorded conversations? Yeah, I put them up there so people can see what's going on. Hopefully, you know, our government will catch on to, you know, the whole idea of enforcing the law. <laughs> Did you record our call today? Absolutely. All right. Have a good day, Mr. Hey, praise the Lord. You too, Trisha. Well, for the record, she still didn't hang up. I ended up hanging up. Six, six, two thousand nine. It's ten o'clock a.m. exactly.